You find that people who do these things are doing a lot more than just narrowly uh, processing theories or solving technical problems. They're actually being creative. They're combining ideas and insights from all over the place in areas where, by definition, they don't really know the answer yet. STEAM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, Arts and Math. MIT believes that it's the interplay between the STEAM subjects that is where we're going to find all of the latest scientific and technological developments. It helps children learn that although they are learning individual disciplines, they are going to find ways to put them together, which enables them in the future to go out into the big wide world and realise that it all links to everything else. It teaches students to be creative, to think outside the box, so it's okay to bring in information from science when you're working in math because it might help you solve the problem. A great example of STEAM in today's society is the Apple computer, which provides cutting-edge technology with something that's really aesthetically pleasing. Teaching our students through a STEAM curriculum also helps them to see that there's more than just the traditional science, technology, engineering, arts and math subjects on their own. But there are opportunities where subjects combine to form interesting new subjects such as bioengineering and biotechnology which are at the forefront of the latest technological developments in society.